Lightning Rod at Dollywood is one of my favorite roller coasters overall. And today I will be doing a full in-depth review on Lightning Rod, what my thoughts are on it. And I'll tell you some of the stats too. So I guess I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everyone, welcome to Theme Park Base. My name is Brady. Let's dive in. Let's start with the stats. So we have a track length of 3,880 feet of track. We have a drop of 165 feet. We have a speed of 73 miles an hour. We have a vertical angle of 73 degrees. We have a G-force of 3.5 Gs. So, now the next category is the presentation slash setting. So, the presentation is good. I honestly really dig the front entrance. And the setting for it on top of the hill is absolutely amazing. It's just so different from other coasters. It is better than Outlaw Run. It is better than every single coaster. Probably that I've ridden. It is my new number one. If you just watched my top 20 recently, you saw how I put it at number one. And it is way better than Steel Vengeance. It shit blew the socks off me when I first rode it. I was so surprised. This coaster is amazing in many ways. It also, you know what? It's just a perfect roller coaster. Okay, and then the launch. Don't even get me started. The launch is actually a lot crazier than I thought it would be. And now, we're gonna talk about my favorite part of the ride, the quadruple down. What in the world? You will get ejected out of your seat. My legs literally hurt because I rode this thing so much when I went and it really hurt my thighs at the end of that. It was just that strong of airtime. It was just so, 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 so good in many ways. I don't care if people say this roller coaster is horrible. It isn't. It's actually an amazing roller coaster. You know, I've never ridden it before the retrack. But you know what? I honestly think it's a pretty smooth roller coaster. Yeah, there's some rough parts on it, but it's not good. It doesn't take away from the ride for me. So now we're going to take a right hand turn out of the station, and then we're going to hit a straight track right before we hit the launch. And you know what? On camera, this launch does not look very intense, but when you're actually on the ride, it's stupid intense. I love this part of the ride. And then you will go down and do this first drop. And this first drop is probably my favorite first drop on any roller coaster. Then you will go down this drop and it's absolutely amazing. And then you'll go into this wave turn, which will give you sideways airtime, very strong sideways airtime. Then you'll go into this other wave turn slash airtime hill. And it will also give you some sustained ejector and then this will give you some crazy ejector airtime on this hill then that hill is decent and then here's it starts the quadruple down with four straight airtime hills which is my favorite part of the ride it just ejects you like crazy and then you'll go into the last airtime hill and then you'll go into the turnaround which looks like fear through your guys treble cleft and then that will end your ride on lightning rod you will hit the brakes this coaster is absolutely amazing. Without a doubt, I am giving this coaster a 10 out of 10. This roller coaster is so insane in many ways, and I just love it. My favorite part is the quadruple down, the second being that first drop, and I just love this coaster overall. So I guess thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy more content here on Theme Park Base, and I'll see you all next time.